our buddy David Silverman, in the wake of Lawrence Krauss, now it's Silverman, fired abruptly by American atheists last Friday, I want to say. It went uh, pretty, seemed to me, I'm not a guy who pays attention uh, to the pulse of the internet. Uh, but I went, when I went to look for it, it wasn't uh, you know glaring uh, out at me on the headlines. Uh, so it was kind of quiet um, over the weekend. And then uh, yeah, on Dave's uh, media, there wasn't anything for a while. Now he did uh, come out with a statement on Facebook where he denies everything categorically. So you know, I want to say right there that you know this is still America. He's innocent until proven guilty. I don't know if there's any criminal charges uh, filed or anything like that. But uh, you know, I I've met him. I've worked with him. Uh, in a kind of a corporate detached way a couple of times uh, so he's not like he's a friend of mine or I know him very well but um, I, it's sad to see he seemed dedicated to the cause and I really think we need people who are willing to be to be firebrands on that side of it you know I'm trying to to walk a line that's hard to walk and I'm finding out that maybe I'm not gonna be able to do it maybe I am but you know if you if you uh, if you choose to be that guy who's a provocateur then that's this, that's what you've chosen, and he he was good at that. And I think uh, for shock value alone, uh, I think the uh, other groups have shown that for the mainstreaming of a uh, a minority group like ours, uh, you need the people who are smooth. You need the people who are diplomats. You need the people who are friendly and compromisers and centrists and, and making love on all sides. And you need the guys who are like, hey, we're here. We're atheists, and and uh, we don't care if you think we're jerks. Um, we're sick of getting pushed around. And uh, I think he did that pretty pretty damn well for, for 10 years. Um, he was one of the guys who you saw on TV. He was one of the guys who'd show up on CNN and Fox News and, uh, and, and you know, facing down the, the Tucker Carlson's of the universe and, the, uh, you know, wherever the, he needed to go, filing lawsuits and, and getting public with, with the actual fight. So, um, uh, as I say, on the heels of Lawrence Krauss, uh, who seems to, you know, be taking it in stride and business as usual, uh, this is another black eye uh, for the atheist movement, and I, I don't know what to say other than uh, to double warn everybody again. I, I'm, I'm not, I've been there, you know, on this micro level that we are. We've got a few followers, and we've, we've got a local group, and, you know, I'm trying to do what I can uh, on a tiny, tiny level compared to some of these guys, and I've already seen the pitfalls that come with community organizing and personal relationships and interpersonal relationships. Uh, it has it has hounded me from the start, uh, and and all of it is 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 nothing, and there's nothing that I won't talk about um, uh, for those who who have felt the need to slander me, uh, you know, in in terms of uh, ethical violations, uh, uh, godless. Anytime you want, I'll come on the show and talk about that because there's nothing I won't uh, own up to or talk about uh, in terms of the mistakes I've made since getting involved with community groups. The fact is that. Uh, as our good friend uh, Joseph Kyle Richards, the, the great Milwaukee director of Batman and Jesus, said, you know, if you put a group of people in a room together, they're going to start fucking each other sooner or later. And uh, uh, it sounds glib, but it's, it's kind of true. Like any uh, microculture, uh, if, you, if you, you, know, you put people in a room together for, for months at a time and they work and they, they develop bonds, then, you know, relationships are going to blossom. Uh, and uh, blossom is a pretty word because they often turn out ugly. Um, as I have found out, uh, you don't know who you're going to meet. Uh, when you go out and do things, you meet people, and that's when these, these things happen, uh, is the point of his comment. Uh, if you stay at home <laughs> uh, and stay online and don't ever get involved, you know, you have less of a chance of falling into those traps. But once you're out there, especially if you're a type A type, if you're, you know, you're, you're someone who's, who's, uh, who's focusing on uh, outward, um, y you tend to attract people who, who want to get to know you, and sometimes... Uh, it goes that way, and when you let it get sexual, you have to know that it might come back and bite you no matter how it started out. You know, it may have been consensual, but five years later when uh, the sharks in the water smell blood, they're going to spin it a different way, you know, and uh, that's not to minimize any real uh, victims out there. You know, we've all just been uh, witness to a cool benefit in Milwaukee for, for victims of rape and assault, and that, all that is real, and I'm, I'm right there. <laughs> Uh, with all of those people, that's, those people need to be heard. They need to be able to come out and say something right away so they don't have to wait five years. I'm not trying to minimize any uh, of the actual victimization of people out there, but uh, people who would be leaders in this movement, both uh, sexes, both genders, and all transgender people need to be aware that uh, it goes the other way too. And once you're accused of something like this, 
uh, it's hard to get that stink off of you, whether you're innocent or guilty. And you know, uh, the truth will be told. Uh, it'll, it'll come out, and Silverman will will, will own up to uh, you know whatever is uh, is decided. But it, it is scary that the court of public opinion becomes the arbiter of of, of truth in these uh, cases too many uh, too many times. And uh, the fact is that uh, I've been uh, on the end of of misrepresentations of uh, abusive comments just uh, in, just to hurt me by people who, in fact, were spur my uh, whose advances to me were spurned. In other words, uh, people in the movement have made sexual advances on me, which were nothing more than at dates, asking me out on dates where I said no, or, you know, or just didn't respond really. Instead of saying I'm not interested in you because you don't, I'm not attracted to you, which I, it's hard for guys, that's hard for me to do. I don't like saying that to anybody because it's flattering. If someone asks you out, you, you want to say yes, but sometimes you're just not interested, so you know you don't respond. And the next thing you know, uh, you're getting thrown under the bus, but, you know, for for a, an inappropriate comment to that person, uh, you know, who's been shown, uh, you know, to be uh, an inappropriate interloper of physical space at every party that she ever got drunk at. So. Uh, you know, things happen that uh, that cast a bad light on people that are accusers and people that are accusees. And I, I don't know what the solution is other than to just be celibate. And if you're trying to get into this, you know, I, it'd be like, uh, uh, you know, as much of a diplomat and a statesman as you, as you can or a statesperson and try to uh, simply not get involved with people. You know, the old adage, don't shit where you eat, you know, just try uh, and I'm not casting stones because, like I said, I've fallen into this pitfall more than once, uh, and, and may again. I, I'm not Mr. Squeaky when it comes to that, but maybe some people are, and those people tend to succeed. I think as politicians, especially these days, if you don't have any skeletons in your closet, then people can't hit you with those bones. So uh, tough to see uh, about about Dave. Um, I hope everything turns out all right in American Atheists. We need. Uh, their presence. We don't need uh, more scandals among atheist leaders. We, we need uh, people who will uh, be clean enough in the future to run for, for office. Uh, that's what we need. That's what the secular movement needs. We need people who, who could be president. We need presidential people. And, uh, you know, those aren't people who are mired in penis on the, on the internet scandals and rapey folk. So, uh, you know, I hope they're out there. Uh, let's try to find them and let's all try to do the best we can to just, you know, quit, 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 quit getting touchy on people, man. If they, if they don't want it, man, it's just creepy, man. Just keep it to yourself, right? Weirdo.